Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ariana Cheyenne and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, we have once again another wig tutorial, wig review for you guys. I'm partnering with Yoli Sahar. They sent me a 5x5 closure wig, 26 inches. It was body wave. I straightened it to get it to this nice bone straight that we have. The hair was phenomenal. The lace, y'all, the lace. The lace is phenomenal too. I've been doing frontals for the past couple of months, so these simple closures have really been, really, really, really been my friend. In this video, I will show you how I styled it. I also, well not styled it, but installed it. I kind of tried something new. This time, I don't usually put glue on my closure wigs, but this time I did like the Gots To Be Glue plus like the spray and all that so you'll see how I made this look but make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on those post notification bells so you get notified every single time I post and I hope you enjoy this video so the order came via FedEx I believe or DHL one of those but it came pretty damaged so that was upsetting but I know that has nothing to do with the company more so the shipping company but the box came with the headband lashes um, the wig, of course, an extra headband, a band, and two wig caps, and like then like the case. So all of this will be very useful for me. I went ahead and straightened the hair off camera way before I even started the video, but I'm going to go in and also straighten it on camera where you can see it came with three combs on it. Um, I don't usually use those combs but they're on there and then I used the back comb and then they came with two like um, measurement bands I guess that's what it's called but the lace was transparent so this is gonna melt into my skin ladies yes so I usually go in with my got to be gel and just push my hair back out of the way because if you watch my other video you Heard where I said um, it really makes me cringe when the hair is in the way of my, you know, ball cap method or just the lace period. So I go ahead and brush that all the way back. Like said in the intro, I kind of tried a new method because I like I said I don't usually do glue on my closures but this is actually a method that I will use in the future so I was actually excited but for the ball cap you just go in and basically spray your spray on the area you know where the closure is going to be unlike a frontal where you'll be going from ear to ear just spray it in the 5x5 five five, um, measurement instead of the 13 by 4 which is ear to ear and you just go in you spray spray however many layers you want I guess and then you let it blow dry or you just let it dry however you do it I go in and just use my foundation color to put my makeup on the lace just to make it a lot more blended in with my skin than it already does I bleached it off camera so it just made it look 10 times better when I put my foundation on the lace each and every time it just makes it look a lot better then I go in with the same exact foundation and put it on my cap just so it can blend even more than it was before. So this is something that um, I didn't do at first when I first started doing my wigs but realized that this is a game changer for sure. You don't have to do this part but I go in with the glue and just seal the deal on the cap just to make sure it doesn't start lifting when I cut it off. Um, I don't put a lot here just because I already put the spray there. But I just go in and put like one layer and then I let that blow dry and then I move on to the next step basically. By the way, throughout this whole video when I have my blow dryer, it's on a cool setting always. It just helps me dry the hair faster. This part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't really know how to do this part, just don't do the ball head method. I keep saying ball head. I mean ball cap. Don't do the ball cap method at all. But, um, you know, basically just cut the excess that you don't need off. That's basically what it is. Just cut it off, but be careful not to cut too close to your own edges. And like I said, because you're doing a 5x5 closure or whatever 
size closure you're doing that's the only part you have to lay down like the other the other part can just be wherever it wants to be because you're not going to use it So for this step, you go back in and use the same glue that you used before and you just place the glue on downward on the cap so that the cap can learn how to mold downward. You don't want to mold it upward because it will start lifting. So, And you don't want your cap to lift at all because that can cause problems in the long run. So you just want to mold the glue. And you can also do this with a spray, but... The glue is just, I do this when I do my frontals, when I use like Ghost Bond or Got To Be. You just place the glue down so that it can be, a, it can be used for a step for the lace and the cap, basically. Also, what I've learned with this glue is like it doesn't really necessarily get like dry or sticky. Like it does get sticky, but it doesn't get as sticky as Ghost Bond or, um bold hold or whatever you use it doesn't get as sticky as those type of glues so that's I, I actually like that that is not as sticky and you can kind of touch it to see if it's right for you but um now i go in and i put the layers that i'm using for my lace on i just go in and i put the lace basically do what you just did to mold the cap down you're going to do that about two or three times also this isn't a glue that um once it clears up it dries it's kind of like once you brush it in or, or push it in, it already turns like a clear color. So basically when it dries, you just have to go by your finger touch because it won't you won't notice it by the color. So I did do another layer of the glue off camera. I don't know what happened to my camera. So I basically did three layers of the glue. And then I go in with the Insta Hold spray. Instead of the yellow spray, I go in with the Insta Hold one because it just holds better. And I spray that basically how I um, spray the yellow. And I just let that dry. So now the fun part, laying the lace. So you want to just pull the lace on top of the glue and kind of like press it. You're going to use, you're not going to use your fingers like how I did. You're going to, yep, you're going to use your comb and just press the lace into the glue and into the cap. And then eventually I'm going to go in with the blow dryer and also blow dry the hair while I'm pressing the comb into the lace and then the lace into the glue, basically. With this step, you want to make sure it is dry, so always use a blow dryer with this part because this is your lace, so you want to have this part melted in and dried at all times. Like, if it takes you 10 minutes to let it dry, let it dry. So now you want to go in with your headband, head wrap, whatever you want to call it, and put it directly on the lace so that this can be this can be a way of helping you melt it down even more. And you want to let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. While I let mine sit, I go ahead and style mine. Um, and in this case, I straighten it. Y'all, my shirt was inside out right here. Please don't mind that. So here is where I started straightening my hair. Um, straightening hair is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not really gonna speak um, on during this section. You're just gonna 
watch me straighten and if you don't want to watch it you can go ahead and skip to the lace part but yeah I was just I didn't straighten it straighten it I was just putting heat on it and getting any type of wave out of it that could have possibly came overnight I don't know what had but you know I just tried to freshen it up a bit So at this point you can take your headband off and you can reveal your lace. Now for this section I like to cut off the little tabs that are at the end of the closures just because it helps me get more of a seamless look. So I cut those off and then I cut in the middle of the lace because it's a 5x5 five five closure. I don't have to cut too many sections off. So I just cut in the middle of the lace which gives me two sections to work with. For my lace, I don't cut my lace with scissors. I go in with a razor. This is an eyebrow razor I believe. Um, but I go in with the razor and I get as close to the wig hairline as I can. And I just cut the excess lace off that I don't need. But be careful not to cut yourself because these razors are kind of kind of harder kind of harder to handle than regular scissors. After this point, if your lace is lifting, I will go in with one of the sprays, spray it on my lace, and use the end of my comb, like right here, to um, press it down. But since it's not, I'm going to just go ahead and start my edges. Your edges are a preference, so this is another um, part of the video where if you want to skip it, you can. Um, or not, you can watch it, but usually when I do my closures, I like to do the two side edges type of look. Um, I always do it with my closures. I don't... Usually with closures, I don't like to do it around the front area because it's not that much lace to do a lot of work on. So I just do the two sides. So yeah, you can skip if you would like to. However, for my edges, I like to go ahead and mold um, my edges down in like the lace how I want it because I'm going to put the headband on it again. So I just want to mold the lace down and get the hair going the way I want it so that when it's time to take it off, it can just easily form into how I want it. So I use my mousse to do that. Um, and I basically use my mousse this whole entire time to do my edges and all.
Wax sticks will be your best friend with wigs. Always invest in a wax stick because it can make or break um, the meltness and flatness of your lace. So get one of those. I use those to kind of just like get that hump, that front hump in the hair. Ooh, it just burnt myself. But that front hump right there and I do it on the top too, but I think you'll see that. I'm not sure. So I let my headband sit another five to ten minutes, and then after that, I go in and start doing my edges. Um, when you cut, when I cut my edges, I also do that with a razor. Always remember, the shorter the edges, the more natural it looks. The longer, the more dramatic they look. It's your preference. Don't do what I do just because I do it. Do it because you like it. Um, and yeah, just watch how I do mine. If you're not satisfied with the length of your edges, you can always go in and cut them shorter, but always know once you cut them, you cannot get that length back. So make sure you're being careful with um, styling just so you can be satisfied with, you know, your hair. So you've gotten to the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you follow those couple of steps, you will get this look. Or if you don't get this exact look, you will get something similar to it depending on what type of texture of hair or lace that you use. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.